Today I'm going to show you how to make the lead synth from the Daft Punk song Defunk using uh, only the subtractor and the scream distortion effect, which is all stock within reason. Uh, I also going to include the, the file project here, which is going to contain uh, the drums from it. I sampled everything. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So let's, uh, we're gonna use a combinator patch. So go down to the utilities and then just drag in a uh, combinator right here. And then within this combinator, we can take the, uh, go to the, the instruments and then go down to the subtractor. There you are and just drop it in here and then also go to effects go down to the scream distortion effect and just drop it in here okay so the first thing that we need to do is just right click on this and um go to reset device so now we have the stock so it, it sounds like this because we have the scream on here so let's actually control this scream uh, first. So with the uh, damage control, we want to go to 89 on it. If it's going too fast, you can always hold down the shift button and it lets you go. Um, it's a lot more controlled to put uh, to put wherever you want the parameters to go. Let's turn this to fuzz. Turn the uh, parameter 2 all the way up and the P1 all the way up as well. Uh, we're going to take the scale and we're going to take it to 76 and take this to 105. So this is all we need for the distortion. It's pretty loud, so I'm going to turn this down to 58 and then just drop this to wherever you feel it's necessary. I think this would be good. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing that we want to do, now this is actually a very easy patch to create. Uh, so we want to make the polyphony to one. Make sure it's on re-triggered. Um, the first thing actually uh, would be good to do is take the um, the filter envelope velocity amount and bring it to zero because we don't want anything like if you hit the keys hard or soft, we want that sound the the sound to be the same and not have anything uh, determined by velocity. So let's turn on oscillator two, leave these on ramp. Let's take this one down to two and this one to three. Let's turn the mix up just a little bit. We could turn it to like 72, 73, something like that. Let's just do that. Okay, so the mod envelope doesn't need to do anything. No LFOs, nothing like that. So the thing that we're going to concentrate on is the filter, filter envelope, and the amp envelope. So let's take the filter and bring it to low pass 24 and bring the keyboard tracking all the way up to 127. So we're going to want the frequency to be at 60. Let's drop this down to 60. And this is going to be 64. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, mess with the filter envelope. And this is where the majority of your sound is going to be coming from. Um, a big determination is actually how much you put the amount of the filter envelope. And you can make, you could highly distort things and make it sound completely different by the amount that you put on here. And uh, I put it on 24. Um, anything over that seems to just make it sound like garbage so you can already hear that the envelope is doing something that's because it has the decay on there so what we're going to do we want that wow sound and you get that by um 
the attack on the uh, filter envelope. So we're going to take this and bring it to 40. You, are, you hear that wow sound already? That's where that's coming from. And depending on the length that you want it, that's you either put a lower uh, attack or a higher attack. For the decay on here, we're going to bring it to uh, 78. Sustain all the way down. And then for the release, this is actually kind of important too because uh, it's on it's how long it's going to hold on to that to that envelope at the end. So I'm going to bring this to 66. Um, around 60 or 66. It, it all depends on what sound you're going for. For, for the uh, sound that uh, I'm creating for the song, this is pretty ideal. It is still a little bit long, so... Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the, uh, to the amp attack or envelope. This is strictly for the uh, volume of everything. So let's take the decay, bring it to uh, 58. And the sustain is going to be 72. The release is going to be 66. A bit loud. So it's a pretty cool, aggressive sound. So if we just play the um, the melody from that song. So we pretty much have it there. Um, from this, it's all about little teeny tiny stuff. So let me show you what happens when you bring the amount up on here. See, it gives it a different feel, but it's nothing like it was. And uh, for the attack, uh, if you want to bring it down, it gives it more of like a boing sound instead of a wow. Like bow, bow. So anywhere around there, and if you take the kind of releases down, I suggest putting the release, these both releases, at the same time, or it can be kind of weird sound. Um, so now if you want to have further control, like instead of just going straight down here, you can take the uh, combinator right here and you can assign different things so like for instance if you want the damage control to be controlled by this uh knob you can right click this and go to map to com combinator control and go to control one so now this is mapped to number one and we can double click here and we can just put distortion damage enter so now we can control this to the 89. Except for it's a little funky because it's so the damage control was like at 89 down here, but the thing was straight up. So if you don't move it, it's still going to be at 89. But the second that you move this, it's going to reevaluate this because he was right there, but it was still at 89. But the second you move this here, so watch. Um, let's just take the amplitude um, attack. So let's say if you want the amp attack envelope to be controller two, go to control two, and then we could just amp attack. So watch what happens. So here's the amp attack right here. Watch what happens the second we move this. See, it bounces up to where it wants to be right here. So it's a little tricky at first to kind of get exactly what you were really looking for. Um, well, you just have to readjust it with this. Uh, and then you can just go about doing whatever you want. I, I'd probably suggest doing um, 
the filter envelope, uh, maybe the decay and the sustain of the amp, uh, the damage control on here, um, maybe the, uh, the amount of the filter envelope, uh, perhaps the frequency. And I know I just sounded off a lot, so say if you need another uh, control, you can go to Editor. And then you go to Configure. So say you don't want the switches, you can go down here, switch for X, X, you can just exit out of the things until you have what you want. So to add, if we want another control, we can just click this and then there's a fifth control and you can drag it to wherever you want it. Let's just say right there and there we have it. And then you can just assign it to exit out of here, um, exit out of the editor. So it's just this, and then you can just add whatever else you want to it. Uh, be sure to save the combinator. So all this is is saved. I mean, you can save the subtractor patch to it if you want, but it can all just be combined within a combinator patch if you want. So if you check in the description of this video, um, there will be this project available uh for, for free download. Anyways, thanks for watching. Cue the music. Three, two, one. Slap chop. One, one, two, two, watch his two, one. One, one, two, two, watch his lap chop. One, one, two, two, watch his two, one. One, one, two, two, watch his lap chop. I clap, I clap, I blue fries. Five seconds, blue fries. It's with slap chop. One, two, one, two, watch his two, one. Two, two, watch his two, watch his laptop.